Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you the basic differences in between microprocessor and microcontroller. Let me explain you a few basics regarding microprocessor and microcontroller. See, when we talk about microprocessor, then in single chip, you'll be having CPU, ALU and resistors. By using resistors, we can program that microprocessor, right? While when we talk about microcontroller, then you'll be observing in a single chip, you'll be having CPU, ALU and resistors. But along with that, there are many other things which will be there in single chip. Like you can have RAM, ROM, as well as you can have timers, IO ports, serial communication ports. So many things that will be there in a single chip. So you might be having a question like microcontroller must be stronger and powerful compared to microprocessor. My dear students, no. Microcontroller is designed for embedded applications, right? It will be specific. Like you may be using microcontroller somewhere in remote control of your TV. You may be using that somewhere in remote control of AC. You can use microcontroller in many other embedded applications like microwave own, in refrigeration, cooling conditions, right? So in those type of applications, we have microcontroller in which all the elements which I have told you like ROM, RAM, that will be there on chip. But when we talk about microprocessor, so that is used for general purpose, like for your desktop or your for laptop, you'll be having microprocessor, right? And with microprocessor, we interface memories as well as IO ports externally. Let us see all those differences step by step. So that will give you more clarity. So my dear students, when we talk about microprocessor, then you see here in a single chip, we have CPU, ALU and resistors. So with the use of resistors, we can program microprocessor and program will be stored in a memory, but that will be external memory. So you see here we have external memory that we interface it with microprocessor. So with a single chip, we don't have memory. Here we interface it externally. Serial communication ports are interfaced externally. IO ports, timers, so everything we interface externally with microprocessor. Well, when we talk about microcontroller, then with microcontroller single chip, we have many things inside like CPU, ALU resistors as it is there with microprocessor, it is also there with microcontroller. But in a single chip, we have memory, serial communication port, timer, counter, IO port. So many things that can be there in a single chip. So obviously by single chip of microcontroller, we can perform one simple application, right? But to perform application with microprocessor, we need to interface many other elements externally. But this microprocessor will be way powerful compared to microcontroller as microcontrollers are used for embedded applications, right? And microprocessor that we use it for general purpose. Let us see all the differences with respect to various parameters. So that will give you more clarity. Like microprocessor contains only CPU with a single chip. But when we talk about microcontroller, so it will be having CPU, but along with that, there can be memory, IO, timers, counters, serial communication port, many things that can be there on a single chip. Here you see with microprocessor, we externally interface memory, timer, IO, serial communication ports. So here designer will decide what should be the size of ROM, RAM, what should be IO handling over here. So everything can be designed by designer. Why the reason is you are having microprocessor, but this elements that we interface externally. So here designer is having flexibility, like you can change the size of memory, which we interface. Like right now, whatever laptop in which I'm recording this video that was having 8 GB RAM initially, but I have increased the RAM with 16 GB with this computer, right? So that is because of this is microprocessor. But when we talk about microcontroller, then it will be having fixed size of ROM, RAM and IO handling as per the single chip. So on chip memory will be there. So on chip memory cannot be changed, right? Externally you can interface, but on chip memory will be fixed, right? Here, when we talk about architecture, 
सो मेजोरिटी ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स दैट इज फॉलोइंग वन ह्यूमेन आर्किटेक्चर बट विद माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूल बी ऑब्जर्विंग मेजोरिटी ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर्स आर देर बेस्ड ऑन हावर्ड लाइक इन एट जीरो फाइव वन यूल बी ऑब्जर्विंग हावर्ड आर्किटेक्चर इज देर राइट विथ इंटेल्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ केसेस यूल बी ऑब्जर्विंग इट विल बी हैविंग वन ह्यूमेन आर्किटेक्चर हियर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर देन इट इज वे बेटर इन मल्टी टास्किंग राइट द रीजन इज हियर वी आर हैविंग यूसेज ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर विथ जनरल पर्पज यूसेज बट विथ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इट कैन परफॉर्म मल्टी टास्किंग दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन विच माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट वी हैव बट दैट विल बी रिलेटिवली वेरी वीक कंपेर टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हियर यूसेज ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर दैट इज देर फॉर जनरल पर्पज लाइक वी यूज अवर मेन कंप्यूटर and microcontroller is used for application specific purpose like we use it with embedded system there can be many embedded system i have already given some examples like we use that in remote control we use that in microwave oven we use that in refrigeration cooling condition we can use that in many other embedded applications like washing machine right so for timer purpose for counter purpose for temperature measurement temperature observation so this type of embedded applications that is there with microcontrollers here you will be observing microprocessors are designed for high speed operation and high cost and here microcontrollers that is designed for low cost and low speed applications here when we talk about hardware interfacing then obviously with microprocessor all the hardware that we interface externally based on the requirement we can scale all those things and with microcontroller this chip will be having fixed hardware right so relatively less interfacing will be there with microcontroller the reason is it can handle less hardware externally here you will be observing microprocessor is having high power consumption so you will be observing your cpu with laptop it is consuming way higher power while with microcontroller we have embedded system that is based on battery operated system so here you cannot consume high power right it is there based on low power consumption applications so here battery operated system that will be there in majority of cases with embedded system so as if it is consuming high power then your battery will get drain very fast and that we don't want in embedded system here my dear students you will be observing microprocessor is not designed for bit addressability mostly you will be observing that is not supported over here but with majority of microcontroller you will be having bit addressability like you can see that with the structure of 8051 as well in which you can have bit addressability here with microprocessor there are many examples like 8085 8086 those were earlier microprocessors of intel then they have designed core i3 core i5 core i7 amd processor is also there this core i3 core i5 core i7 that is there up to 12th generation in 2022 and they are even further upgrading with respect to time right with microcontroller there are many families like 8051 avr pic arm so these are the microcontrollers that is well known and people are using that in embedded system i have seen many of the questions of students they were been telling me like sir i have seen microprocessors that is having on chip memory right so here you see microprocessor is having cpu it is having alu it is having resistors so you will be observing majority of resistors that is stored with memory only and that will be on chip memory so here you will be observing cache memory will be there with microprocessor that is very costly memory let me show you that in my cpu so that it will gives you more clarity so here you see i am showing you task manager and in task manager you can observe here l1 cache so that is on chip memory that is having a size of 320 kb then l2 cache and l3 cache is there this is external connected memory with processor as well as you see here other memory is there that is having size of 16 gb that is ram right and here i'm having ssd as well that is having size of 512 gb with this system 
so here you see with this microprocessor system how many things that i am interfacing in terms of memory only l1 cache that is on chip that is having size of 320 kb right while with micro controller you will be observing that it will be having some size it is not there in terms of gb right but it will be having some size which is therefore embedded system right and based on that only it is designed so here my dear students in short what i want to convey is microprocessor that is designed for general purpose usage while microcontrollers that has been designed for embedded systems right and there are many other applications like iot applications that even you can perform by using microcontroller you can have machine learning kind of applications even nowadays you will be observing there are many series of microcontrollers that has been designed by arm like cortex m cortex r cortex a series in which you will be observing cortex a that is used for microprocessor cores but cortex r that is used for real time applications right and cortex m that is used for embedded applications so here point is when we have system at that time that system is designed for some specific task it is not like something is very powerful and something is less powerful it is based on what is the requirement and based on that only we should approach i hope it is clear to you still if any query is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video